So today guys, we're in this creek looking for ancient Megalodon shark teeth. So shark teeth are the only thing that you can find in this creek. Here is a piece of Native American chipping, which means that this is a piece of an arrowhead that when the natives were working on it and had a big piece of rock and they're knocking chunks off to make it smaller and sharper. This is one of the pieces they knocked off and there's all sorts of Native American artifacts along this creek and hopefully we'll find a spearhead or a piece of pottery today to show you guys, you know, the intricacy of the materials these people had to work with. All right, so we've got our first shark teeth so far. There is tons and tons and tons of stuff in here, but I don't see any more fossils. So we are going to go on to the next batch to sift. So most YouTubers are like, oh, we're going to try to find a Megalodon tooth today. No, we are going to find a Megalodon tooth today. I've never gone to this site and not found one. It's just a matter of time. I'm not sure when in the video it's going to be. It could be right now for all I know. But we're going to find a Megalodon tooth today, 100%. Probably multiple. Usually I get about 5 to 10 here. So we are going to figure that out. So that sift didn't have a Megalodon tooth, but it did have, that is, you can see the thing on the rock, the little black thing. That is a stingray barb, like the thing that killed Steve Worm and the thing that the stingray uses to defend itself. That's a fossilized stingray barb. That's pretty interesting. That's another big old Native American flake. That's a piece of a arrowhead or spear point from thousands of years ago. That's pretty cool. That's another big stingray barb. That's how big they usually are. A really big stingray at least. That's a barb, defensive barb. So right now we're going to the most megalodon rich site in the creek. It's filled with so many megalodon teeth. Usually you'll find about one every 15 minutes. It's quite crazy, really. This sift I just did is filled with Native American artifacts. Here's one that's a chipping. We've just talked about those. Is that another? No, that's a fossilized shell. Look at that. Here's another, and you can see all along the edge here has been worked. I'm not sure if that was an arrowhead at some point or if it's just a cutting tool, but that's a bunch of workings along this edge is to make a serrated bit. And here's another one. This is a flake off an arrowhead. And I'm sure there's more in here. There's likely a camp up on this bank causing all of the artifacts to spill out. There's definitely shark teeth in here too, but they're likely small ones. I don't see any megs. Usually with a, if there's a megalon, you can, um, you can see it pretty fast. So they're pretty sizable. I think if there's anything, I'll let you guys know. There's a little bug, like a mite, and he's guarding a treasure. Look at that. There's a piece of a megalodon tooth. That's a little baby one, but that is half of a megalodon tooth. It's about an inch and a half. Florida was a nursery, so female megalodons would come here and have their babies, and the babies would be raised here for a little bit and drop the little baby teeth. And the reason you can still find big teeth is the females still lost their teeth. Megalodons would shed their teeth through their entire lifetime. So females would shed their giant seven inches and the babies would shed their little one and a half inches. And the babies would go out into the ocean, have families of their own and come back years later and do the same thing. Here's another little flake. This could have been a spear point actually, but I don't think so. You can see the little workings on the side, but it likely it was a tool. I think some starting to see works along the side. So, oh. Now we're in a site known as the Alley of Everything. Now that's because there is so much stuff here. There are fossils, there are Native American artifacts, there's pottery, bottles, there's everything here and lots and lots of Megalodon tooth. In fact, I just took my first sift and this isn't a Megalodon tooth, but it is half of an extinct Mako tooth, which is actually the Cosmopolititis hostilis or the ancestor to the great white shark. The Alley of Everything also has tons and tons of these little tiny shark teeth. So this is pretty cool. This is the outside of a mastodon tooth, which is similar to a mammoth. It's like a smaller mammoth and it's just pretty cool. This is the enamel. So this is the layer of the outside of the tooth. And they would have been about, uh, I want to say the size of a football, an American football. This is just a little piece of one. Pretty cool though. Here's a piece of a meg. It's a little corner of a tooth, but the bigger the gravel, the bigger the teeth. The alley of everything never fails me. There's a washout right here, and I thought this was a piece of bone, but that is the half of a megalodon tooth. That's so neat. This is all stuff that I put here, and I guess it was all underneath it. Maybe I threw this out when I was sifting here months ago, or maybe this got washed out, but there is a ton of gravel here, and it's going to be filled with megalodon teeth. 
So remember how I found that piece of mastodon enamel a few um, minutes ago? This is even more of one. This is, so each mastodon tooth has about six, I'd call them micro teeth on it. This is half of one of those micro teeth. This is so neat. That's the most mastodon tooth I've ever found. That's a piece of a ancient mastodon tooth. I just got a new sift and there's a tooth right here. See, that is an extinct mako. The tooth I was telling you guys about, that is the ancestor to the great white shark. It's got a big nick out the side, but it's a decent sized one. That's most of an extinct mako. And the only difference between this and the great white is the lack of serrations on these. The great whites are covered in serrations, but they evolved those. I just dug this out, and that is a piece of indigenous American pottery. Look at that. That's the lip of the bowl, and there's no design on it. But that is still super, super cool. I pulled this out with my hand, and I almost broke it. That is another piece of native pottery. And this one has a design in it. Here is the lip. And, okay, that's neat. That's neat. It's got like a squiggly design in it. That's got to be at least 5,000 years old. I think I just found the third piece of pottery in a row. Yep. Look at that. Third piece of Native American pottery. I've never found this much pottery in this spot. Uh, I think there was an encampment right up here. And I've actually found a little bit of pottery here, but not this much in one day. Yeah, I just realized right next to where I picked up the pottery, there's a shark tooth. I think that's a megalodon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little baby megalodon tooth. Wow. I almost missed that. That is a big piece of meg tooth. That it would have been probably four or five inches. They get to about eight, so this would have been on the larger side, likely a uh, adult female. I already picked it up, but that is another piece of pottery. This is like the third or fourth one I've found so far. Oh my God. There's no way. There's no way I just popped that out. Please be whole. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude, that is a freaking killer. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> cry or throw up. I don't, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That, that's a killer. That is an amazing Native American arrowhead. That's, oh my gosh. That's probably the coolest one I've ever found in my entire life. Oh my gosh. There's so many flakes out here. You can see the pottery is lined up up there and there's just flakes everywhere. I thought this was an uh, arrowhead at first. I freaked out, but nope, it's just a little flake. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that Meg. Oh my goodness. That's great. That's honestly great. Yeah, we're winning today. There's an extinct make. Oh! Extinct Mako tooth. That's pretty. Head back to the car now. It's been about four hours. We're going to take a look at the haul for today. So here's the finds for today. We got a really nice Savannah River Point. That one's amazing. It's made of um, jasper, some kind of like northwestern jasper. A bunch of pieces of Native American pottery, some pretty cool designs in those too. Uh, those designs are thousands of years old. Lots of flakes. These all came from the production of a, one of these. I told you we'd find a bunch of megs today. I'm sorry the lighting sucks, but we did find a bunch of megs today and a bunch of extinct makos. Remember, these are the ancestor to the Great White. And yeah, I think this is the best one. Ah, there we go. That one's really cool. And a bunch of little tiny shark teeth and lots of whalebone. 